Welcome to another episode of Tinkering Experiments. This episode will be a continuation of the previous experiment with polyurethane. We will be adding a third layer to our previous experiment and then we will be spraying a layer of primer on it. We will also try on a different print, but we will sand it in between the coats. So let's apply the third layer on our print, which already has two coats. Afterwards, let's do a coat on this cube and then once it's dry, we'll sand it down. We have to let both of these dry before doing the next step. It takes roughly around 4 to 6 hours to cure. Now that it's dry, let's spray the coat of primer. So while we wait for the first print to dry, we'll take the second print and we'll sand it down with 100 grit sandpaper. We'll wash it off afterwards to clean off the dust and then we'll put another layer of polyurethane on it. We'll let it dry for 4 hours and then spray a coat of primer. Here we go! Once it dries, we'll take a closer look at it. Here is the initial print with 3 layers of polyurethane on it. This was not sanded down and we can see that there is a bit of dots on it. The individual layers on the print seems to have faded away though, and apart from those mysterious dots, I would say it is relatively smooth. Here is the cube. There's no dots on it, but there are a bit of strings or dust that got caught underneath it while we were spraying the primer. It looks really smooth though, it's also really smooth to a touch. Here's a comparison between the two prints. The lines on the F model is a lot more obvious than the cube here. The cube definitely looks way smoother without the individual lines. The lines on the F model is a lot more obvious than the cube. While we can still see those individual lines, the print is still relatively smooth. It's just that the cube definitely looks way smoother since the lines don't show as much. Well there you have it, we tried using polyurethane to polish and smooth out our PLA print, and I would say it works. The two parts were relatively smooth even though we used different methods, but I would say the cube model definitely had an advantage over the F model as it does look smoother and is smoother to a touch. Overall, I think given a bit of work, polyurethane does work pretty well. Before I end, I just want to remind everyone about Tinkering U. The platform has a lot of teaching resources like 3D printing courses, Steam challenges, and CAD tutorials. So be sure to check it out. That's the end of our experiment. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you did not, then a thumbs down below. Remember to subscribe and comment on what experiments you would like to see in the future. Thank you for watching. Tinker out.